I'm taking my daughter to an area contaminated by arsenic and full of Cold War era uranium mines. The poison strip is, is where we're going to spend the night and see if we survive. If anywhere is the middle of nowhere, it's probably here. We're here not to test out the toxicity of the environment though, but instead we're looking for red agates, petrified wood, and dinosaur bones. Um, pronghorn. Pronghorn! Arches National Park and the LaSalle Mountains frame the scenery. We're heading to a mine. This is an old uranium mine. Whoa, it's all like falling apart here. We've got gullies, all kinds of things. We forgot the Geiger counters. Getting our money's worth from the rental car. Just going through this crazy stuff here. We're gonna head up to this area here. This one. The sandstone cliffs of this mesa are from the poison strip member of the Cedar Mountain Formation. Below them are softer mud and siltstones. Both are from floodplains or lake shores and contain dinosaur bones, petrified wood, and aquatic fossils. I just wonder if this is wood or what. No? Like, what is that? It's shaped kind of like wood. Don't you think? Is this wood? I'm having a hard time telling. I'm collecting a bunch to give to people. The rare yellow cat petrified wood here has no grain, so we were having difficulty telling it apart from just agate or jasper rock. It's addicting. Once you find one, you just want to keep doing it. Thank you, Mountain. While I'm starting on you, I say thank you. Here's a mini Moab. <laughs> you do you do seem to have some tendencies of a, an addict right now. Whoa! There's a whole layer right here. I mean look at this. It could be a tree. Look at it. Well the trees don't come like this, look. See the layer? It goes like that. We're climbing. What is this? Whoa. Big cliff. As I'm slipping, it's super steep. Thanks. Nice. But be careful. Oh yeah, I'm gonna hand you this. Here. You're up top, you're up there. Here. Got this. Seems pretty secure. Where are you? There you are. Hi. Hi. So we, we made it to the top here. And um, Sila's trying to fill my backpack with, with um, all the rocks she's collected. She has about 500 pounds of rocks. If she could, she'd pick up the whole mountain. <laughs> and we're heading down this super steep cliff. There's rocks falling everywhere. Whoa. I'll just let that roll. Uh-oh. Rock going all the way down. <laughs> this is it. Look, it has like almost a nub. Let's see. Um, I don't know. Look at that. This is definitely double-sided, so... 
in this too. Whoa. Like, oh, look at this. Wow. Is that a stump next to you? That that looks like petrified wood right next to you. I know, this whole thing. Come. I, I think you found it. Come! I'm coming. Really? Whoa, we're on a cliff. Look, this is like a half. Whoa, it's like glowing. See? It's like glowing. I can't believe it. Over here. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Here it is. This is the real deal. It is? Look. And it's got the edge. Thank you. Since our trip, we researched our findings, but still aren't sure we found any fossils. Please comment below if you have ideas. Either way, the jasper and agate is stunning. <laughs> We've, we think we found some dinosaur bone here, stuck in the rock. Right there. Yeah, oh, it's totally bone-like. And I'm guessing it goes back. But it's literally green sand. And right there, there's purple. Yeah. It's like wood to me. Right. So it's about 3.30, I just woke up and we're heading to Mesa Arch. It's really dusty around here and I'm not sure if it's the best for our lungs. Mm -hmm.